Alright, hello YouTube, this is KM Huey bringing you some more viewer submissions. Uh, again, we have Crisis here from SSGS3. What's up, bro? Long time uh, view, or Let's get this show long time viewer. I don't know how long he's been a viewer. A uh, three time submitter hour so far for videos. Awesome, dude. Uh, so, in this one, um, we are on what the hell is this map? Uh, Westfield Encounter. Or, no, not encounter, it's uh, assault. You know, I think I'm gonna actually uncheck that and start playing these maps again because uh, they took out Pro Karovka, which is my least favorite. And I'm actually okay with the rest of them. So, um, so he's doing, making use of his speed and his view by coming over here to these bushes and scouting. Um, I like the fact that he held a shot there. He's got them lit. There's no point in uh, getting himself lit up. See, there you go. Even better. Now he's getting a whole bunch of spots on stuff right here. So I'm actually I'm fine with using the M18 um, as a scout um, because it has great view range. And he's, you know, he's set up to be scouting anyways. He's got Camel Net and Binox. So, I don't know if he has Sixth Sense or not. So, like, I would have shot by now. Just because I'm a little worried that I would have been seen. So, but the fact that nobody's shot at him is a good sign that he hasn't been seen yet. So, I'm guessing he has Sixth Sense of some sort. This is probably going to be one of those games where I wish I had in-plate, but I promise you, playing like this can and will be um, a good thing. Yeah, there you go. I would say, though, I would start shooting, because, uh, I mean, you're still a tier 6 and a tier 7 battle, so you're still one of the big boys. Uh, M18's nothing to, to, to uh, sneeze at, so... Nice shot. It makes a very Enemy good sniper slash uh, flanker to do its speed. So. Wow, they are stomping this one. Nine to one. And even their guy, dead guy has a kill, so. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Jade's in the background growling. That's gotta hurt. So. Somebody next to him was spotted. No, oh, I don't think he's been spotted yet. I actually liked where he was aiming at first a lot better than that second shot. There you go. Like, you see, you're kind of aiming at the turret ring in the side of the turret there with that one that pin. Whereas that shot that bounced is more of a... Uh... Granted, if you're on a flat ground, don't get me wrong, that where he's aiming is like the right... That was a nice shot. Uh, so anyways, as I was saying, that the spot where he's aiming on flat ground is actually the perfect spot to aim at a uh, uh, KV-1. Because you get that really flat portion. But because of you know the KV-1 is angled uphill and you're angled downhill, it kind of provides this... Alright, so hold your two hands out flat, right? Now angle your KV-1 up. And angle your... Alright, so hold your hands flat, angle your left hand up. Angle your right hand down and facing at each other. So now, due to the angle, that flat part is no longer flat. It's it's an angle, so it's going to cause wonky bounces. So, yeah. 
while it's a weak spot on flat ground on a on a movable terrain or on a elevated terrain like that it is a uh, um, it's a it's an angled armor piece so That was actually cool watching those two shells arc in like that. <laughs> so that was a, a very well played game, Crisis. He got three kills, he got 18, 1900 damage, and he got quite a bit of uh, spotting damage there. Um, so uh, that's basically, uh, that. to me, that's the perfect way to play this tank. You're fast enough to get into a well camouflage position like that to spot for the rest of your team, and then you want to start shooting when they're already distracted with all this stuff because if you notice at the very start he could have shot at that panther he didn't that would have exposed him he could have shot at the 12t he didn't that would have exposed him he could have shot at that m7 he didn't which is really good you held he held his shots there um and he only started firing after the other team was already well distracted because there was two heavies behind him that weren't as camouflaged as he was so to me that was very good tactics there dude I really enjoy watching your replays alright welcome back this time we have uh, Palagrim in his comment our hero from the uh, last viewer submission or a couple of viewer submission videos ago if you remember he was playing as Cromwell on the same map here and he took the, the, the route this way Caught the dash two, came in across the bridge, ran him up against the side of the building, and killed him. And caused me to laugh hysterically. It was awesome, by the way. Palagrim, you are my hero. So here he is, he's playing the Comet. So obviously he's uh, upgraded since the last time. Um, and from what I've seen, the Comet does an amazing uh, tier 7 medium tank. Um, I don't know how well it does, it performs as a top tier. But as I was saying in the Cromwell video, when it's in a tier 8-9 battle, it basically has the same effect as the Cromwell. People are like, meh. You know, he really doesn't hit that hard. Average damage is 140. His, he has more pin than damage. So, like, you know, people tend to ignore him. But, you know, after a while, with the due to the reload speed, that adds up, man. So, ten shots from this gun, you know, fourteen hundred damage, and as fast as they come, you know, this tiger could be dead if he was, you know, busy looking at, like, say, what their IS or their tiger, you know, if he was constant trading on that, you know what I'm saying, instead of the common. So, uh, to me, that's what the, what these British tanks are really good at. They're, they're very good at being, oh, they don't hit that hard. So, a lot of people tend to ignore him. So he really wants his T-50. We nailed shouldn't be that far up. Apparently the turret armor on this thing's pretty good. So I'm gonna charge with this T20, which I'm fine with. You know, I'm an aggressive, 
you know, I keep saying it, I'm a very aggressive player, so I would have probably charged myself. Though, and uh, being as low health as he is compared to the 220, probably wouldn't have gone charging that far <laughs> up. But uh, luckily enough, he's got some good support behind him, and they managed to land some hits. So. T20 still has more HP than he does, but it's a lot closer to being a fair fight. So the T20 took some time to kill a T50 and ignored Palagrim. Oh hey look, I didn't even notice it, but the uh, link is in this one too. Playing his Panther. Oh man, they got a full health IS back here. Let's see, Penetration. like if this IS was on my team, I'd be like raging against him right now. You're a tier 7 in a tier 7 battle, why are you hiding in the back? Especially in a heavy. You know. Punch right through their armor. We nailed them back. Alright, so they're west side caved already. Um, but they're still up. I like the spot that he's taken. It's a lot of destructible materials behind in between him and any of the tanks that are going to come towards him so yeah that's a good spot so he's got four kills 2100 damage his platoon mate has three two kills I wonder if they're gonna get him another kill so they can get brothers in arms It's a good possibility considering the M4 sells a lot of HP. Nah, it doesn't look like the Panthers repositioning to get a kill shot. Nice shot. Nah, Palagrim's just gonna finish them off. Enemy vehicle so. destroyed. Alright, well played, sir. Oh wait. They do get brothers in arms, I had that reversed. Relink had the four kills. So now they're going to get brothers in arms, and there you go. That was a rather well played game. Uh, sorry if I sound a little tired and if I'm missing stuff in these. I am a little bit tired. I'm recording a whole bunch of these in a row because the new patch comes out this week, and I want to make sure that the um, replays are recorded before the patch comes out just in case they don't work in the next patch. So there's that. All right, welcome back. That's the uh, final replay of this video. We have RJ21. Oh, wait, no. 211. Alright, now we got. Let's go! Line. Yeah, 211. Again, from DungeonGuru.net Army. Uh, playing my favorite medium on my favorite map. To play my favorite medium. So, this is the E50 on uh, Wide Park. Which, to me, this map is medium and heavy. Playground. Uh, I hate playing it on my Artie, and I really don't like playing it on the TDs too much. I'm, you know, I didn't mind it on my T28 Proto due to the fact that it is a turret. So, but this is a definitely a fun map for you know things with turrets. And the reason I like it on Artie is because the view ranges are so short. You know, at the initial push, everybody pushes up against this. You can get spotted back, back here. Hang on, I'm a free lit. Oop, no, I'm not. There's a nice shot. Alright, I'm a free lit now. 
You can get spotted back here by these people over here. You can get spotted here and here by these people here. You get spotted here by the people here. You can get spotted here by these people here. The only really safe spot for Artie on this map is here. And here. So. See, look at that. The Hummel was spotted by these lights all the way back here, and he got the shot from here on that. Like, to me, I don't... Definitely not my favorite map is already, so... He's doing work against the Z50. He's already done 1174 damage on him. Very good. Take a gun off the map. there under the train. His T30 teammates is getting in the way. Oh, see, there's the other already. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm actually really concentrating on this map, like, or on this gameplay. Uh, to me, the more intricate the shots, the more I want to watch and not commentate, so... <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, nice shot right there. And T95 is an idiot. Oh god, I feel horrible. Hardis just agreed with me on something. Alright, so this Lova's concentrating on those light tanks. And not on the tanks that are actually gonna damage him. So basically free XP. For RJ211. That one didn't go through. Alright, so still got a really pretty decently healthy third. That was a very good shot there underneath the gun and right over the uh the butt end of this tank. So. Takes a shot from a T30, but he gets a T34 gun off the map, which T34 guns are really good, so. Okay with. Plus, the T30's reload so long that. Doesn't really worry me that much. He's gone. Find another target. Seven oh four E seventy five and an eyes. Good get good God, sir. You were having one hell of a one hell of a game. Enemy armor is hit. We didn't Ooh. even scratch them. So he's up to 8 kills, 56, 59 damage.
very well played E50 here. I really enjoyed watching it, dude. So he basically played that about the same as I would. Um, I might have been a little more aggressive at the start instead of sitting behind that building over here. I probably would have been up here, but I mean, I can't fault his decisions. Very, very great decisions made there. Very good gameplay. Um, and in fact, the because he was hanging back, he got that shot on that Hummel at the start. So even though it's only a tier 5 RD, a Hummel, I've seen him hit tier 10s for 700 damage. So, like, uh, Hummels are actually a pretty big threat. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and uh, submit some more replays to failteamswot at yahoo.com. Uh, let's try and keep them to only 8.3s. Um, I will be playing some... Uh, Chinese tanks and I will probably be streaming one of these days Chinese tanks I won't make a video for it it, is, it actually may happen before I post this video um, though I do plan on posting this video on Thursday the uh, let's see hang on the 17th so if I post then you may have another video that same day saying hey I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow at blah 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 so just it'll be some Chinese tier grinding I plan on uh, I'll start off at tier 1 and just grind my way up I want to do the medium land first when I played the 121 on the first test server they were up for the one before 8.2 I really enjoyed the 121 I did not enjoy the heavies um, just yeah so I, I, I may grind the heavies at some point but I do definitely want to work my way up to the medium so um, yeah, again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check out Psychic Goldfish Prods on YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, go ahead and check out uh, twitch.tv forward slash runekind. R-U-I-N-K-I-N-D. Um, awesome dude. Uh, I just like watching his streams. Like, even if I'm not really watching his stream, like, if I'm playing a game, I like to have it in the background and just, like, listen to it. The guy's very interactive with his chat. And I tab in and out and, you know, we... You know, comment with him on the stream. We'll, uh, you know. So, uh, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day slash evening slash morning slash afternoon wherever you are, and uh, I'll catch y'all later.